G'day everyone, Craig from Country Values Real Estate here. Uh, today I want to have a chat to buyers. Uh, everyone's saying out there that uh, it's been a buyer's market for, for a number of years now. Sellers are getting um, the rough end of the stick, um, you know, it's, and uh, prices are down, a lot of properties on the market to choose from. But um, a lot of the buyers I talk to are uh, not necessarily feeling that way. They still, uh, they're finding that finance is very difficult to come by at the moment. The banks are being really tough on um, loan applications. Um, and also people are generally just um, a little bit lost sometimes as to uh, finding the right property. You know, sometimes with a lot of properties to choose from, it can be difficult to, uh, to know where to start. Uh, so just wanted to have a chat to you about um, my thoughts on uh, on the process as far as, um, as buying a property, um, in the, particularly in the country areas, and um, uh, some of the tips that I uh, would recommend uh, for buyers. Uh, number one, uh, your budget. Have a look at uh, have a chat to the bank, um, and or, or if you've got a good broker that you know, um, talk to them. Um, make sure they know about country properties because uh, there are different um, uh, got rules as far as um, with the banks as far as buying country properties. Uh, you may need more deposit than if you were buying a property in the city, for example. Uh, you know, some some people um, can get 95% le um, loans in the in the city, but uh, you you might find that. Um, that that's not the case in the, in the country, particularly if it's a rural zoning, you'll be um, up for a fairly fairly big deposit in a lot of cases. Uh, so have a chat to your bank, um, get an idea of what, uh, let them know what type of property you're looking for and um, so they can tell you what the rules are and um, what you can afford to spend. So that'll give you a starting point and also factor in your other uh, fees like stamp duty, um, your settlement fees, transfer fees, all those sort of things, uh, the bank will tell you roughly what those sort of things will cost you and um, give you a, a good starting point. Uh, so next thing uh, would be to, to have a good look at your requirements. It can be, um, you know, as I say, there's a lot of properties to choose from out there and you really want to narrow down um, what your your absolute needs are, the things that you, um, the not negotiable that you have to have in a property and um, uh, and then also uh, so make a list of those and also then make a list of the nice to haves or your wants I suppose that uh, that um, you know you can probably do without if you find a property that's got everything else that you need but um, it'd be nice to have a, um, some some other things as well so things you might think about are things like the location obviously is, is important in every case you where do you want to be what do you want to be close to uh, do you want to be near the beach do you want um, uh, something that's close to a, a major town or do you want to be out in the middle of nowhere on, on acreage. Um, so location is important. Um, things like um, if you're buying a house, what sort of accommodation do you want? Do you need three bedrooms, four bedrooms, outdoor living areas, swimming pool, uh, shed, uh, if you've got a lot of gear to store. Uh, so things like, um, like that, uh, your, your infrastructure and accommodation. Uh, the land that you're buying, do you want a, a, just a quarter acre block in a residential block? Would you prefer five or ten acres, uh, or would you re, are you looking at a rural, a bigger a rural acreage property? Have a think about what you're going to do with the land when you when you're just considering this. If there's no point buying a hundred acres if you if you're just going to have um, a, a dog and a cat, so. Um, if you want, if you know, you want to do something with the land, or you want a bit more space around you, then then good. Um, if you don't need that, then you know maybe narrow down your requirements to um, the size property, and and also things like um, water and um, uh, the type of fencing, the type of soils you want. Do you not? Do you need a water license um, uh, if you're going to be growing things? So all those sort of sort of things, um, and some of the features of the land that you might be looking at. Do you want something with views or um, flat country, undulating, hilly, bush, whatever. Um, so have a think about all those sort of um, requirements uh, that, you, that you're going to need and, um, and make a note of all that before you start. 
Next thing is to do your research. So obviously the internet's a good place to start. There's a lot of websites that have got a lot of information. You can see what's on the market in different areas. You can see the prices and the features of everything that's out there. Uh, that'll give you a good guide as to um, what you can get for your money. But I think it's also important to talk to a local agent. Uh, once you know roughly where you, the location where you're gonna buy and the type of property, talk to a local agent that specializes in that area, in that type of property that you're looking for and they'll be able to give you a good idea of, um, they'll maybe point you in the right direction if you're, if you're a little bit um, unrealistic in some of your expectations of uh, what you can get for your money, or you might be looking in one area, there might be another area you haven't considered where you can get a, a better property for the same money, um, and a local agent will be able to help you and point you in the right direction as far as that goes. So. Um, Another thing that we also do with our buyers once we sit down and go through their requirements and their budget is we'll then actually put them into our database and um, put them onto our, um, our buyer alert list. So as soon as a new property comes on the market within our region that um, meets your requirements and it's within your budget, you'll instantly get an email uh, or you may even get a phone call from us to say, hey, look, we've got this property uh, or we've heard about one that's coming up. Um, you might want to come and have a look at it. So um, that's really important to, um, to get in contact with a local agent and get some good advice and, um, and get on those um, alert lists. So uh, then once, you know, go out and have a look at as many properties as you think you need to, to, uh, to really get a feel for the market and an understanding of what you can get for your money. Sometimes until you actually see the property you want, you won't really know it until you see it. So, um, yeah, go out, have a look at a few, uh, want, but make sure you only do that once you really know what you need. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of time um, covering a lot of country uh, um, and um, looking at properties that just don't meet, meet your requirements. So um, do your research first, then go out and look at some properties. And once you've found the right one, uh, then that's the time to make an offer. If you've done your research, you should have a fairly good idea of what, um, what's a fair price to offer. Uh, some people like to throw in a really low ball offer, uh, thinking that they'll, it'll help them get it cheap. But I always say to people, have a think, put yourself in the seller's shoes. You know, you know they're asking price. Um, if they're unrealistic, then fine, make an offer where you think is, it, it, it sits. But also, you, you don't want to put an offer in that's so low that they just reject it outright and, um, and don't, don't want to negotiate with you. If you make an offer that, um, that they'll, they'll come back with a counter offer, then at least you're in the game and you can, uh, you can then negotiate and try and get it for the best price that you possibly can um, while still getting the right property, that, the one that you're looking for. So um, uh, yeah, so that's my, um, my tips on, on buying a property, particularly in the country. If you're out there looking at the moment um, or you're about to, to, to start looking for a property, um, like I say, give us a call. We can give you some advice on, uh, on where to start and which way to go. And um, we'll also get you on our data database. So um, uh, my email address is craig at cvcp.com.au or my phone number is 0448. 825-833. Uh, so give us a call or an email and um, we'll see if we can help you. All right, happy hunting and uh, all the best. Cheers, bye.